up, Rocketeers? Rocket back in the house. Yay, yay! Today's the day to fix the goblin. Get her back together. Look at the forks. They're done. Look how nice them seals are. Shout out to my fork seal guy. He did a great job. Now they're ready to go back in. Yay, yay. First step is we're going to slide the fork up in here. And I'm just going to snug these down to hold it in place. I can't do it holding the camera. So I'll show you all step by step. Yay, yay. All right, we got her slid up in there. She's looking nice. I snugged up the bolts. So you just got to get it perfect on that lip lined up. Same with the other side. I got to snug these up. And then I got to torque them all down. So it's one, your handlebar, two, and then these two right here, three, four. Make sure you look up your torque specs. It's very important to torque your bolts. All right, I got her in. She's tightened down. She's torqued the spec. She's aligned right. There goes our first fork and baby. The goblin's coming alive. Yay, yay. All righty, Rocketeers. We got the forks in. Everything's torqued down to the specs. They look good. Next thing we're gonna have to do is put the front tire on. Yeah, yeah. The tire's on, everything's torqued down. What you do is once you put your tire on your bolt through and you torque that down, make sure you torque these down. That's very important. You gotta have these on both sides torqued down too. And on your forks, you torque these down, your handlebar bolt, and your top bolt. Make sure everything's torqued, but that's what she looks like so far. Put the brakes back on, start throwing the fairings on. And the goblin will be good. The goblin will be good. Yay. Now the brakes, I'm going to explain real quick. It's real easy. Make sure you got enough space between your pads. Slide them on the rovers. You got two bolts here. One top, one bottom. After you put your brakes on, make sure you pump your brakes. After they're all tightened down, torque. You have to pump them to get your uh, brake pads smushed against your rotor again. Because if not, when you go to hit your brakes, you won't have any at first. So make sure you pump your front brakes. Both brake calibers are back on. They're nice and good. Tighted, torqued up. Make sure once you got them on, you spin your tire and pump your brake. Spin the tire and pump the brake. Make sure there you go. Well, I'm about to drop her off the headlift stand and then we're going to put the fairings on. Yay, yay. I got the brakes torqued up. Everything is torqued up and good. Brakes work good. She's off the stand. Look at them beautiful forks, man. Shout out one more time to my fork seal guy. He did an excellent job. Now, let's get these fairings on and get her done. Yay, yay. All right, we got the nose. And as you can see, there's four screws that go one here, one here, one here, and one here. That kind of holds the whole nose on, actually. So, we'll get that. Let's go here, here, and then inside there. And inside there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that on. Alright now, before you hook it all up, because you just lift it up and screw, 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 screw. I found it quite easier to hook all your electrical up beforehand. You know what I mean? So let's get all that hooked up. It's all plug and play. And then we'll screw it in. Alright, Rocketeers, all the electrics connected. I gotta put the side fairings on, but the front nose is actually on. It's assembled. Yay, yay. How's it look? The goblin's coming back apart together. And look at them forks, baby. She looks so great. It's crazy. Because the goblin, baby. Alrighty, the next step. Alright, the next part is the front piece that holds on the windshield snaps up in there and then you put your mirrors on they slide on two bolts as you can see you stick them in there and that's what holds this piece on yeah yeah let's get that done good thing i caught it in time i think rocketeers big rookie mistake i didn't catch it in time oh no let's see what i can do i forgot to hook up the dash i might have to take this back off let's find out well, I didn't have to take it back off. I just ran it through here. And don't forget to plug your speedometer and dash and all back in. Or you will be in some trouble. <laughs> Make sure you hear the click. There we go. It's in. Pull the rubber back over. Yeah, yeah. Now let's put that piece back on. And then 
we'll do the mirrors. And she's coming along. Yay, yay. I got the mirrors bolted down, so there's the front end, and she's she's good. All right, all I got left is the windshield, which is very explanation. You got six screws, you take them out, you set them in, you put them back in. I'm not sure I might put the clear windscreen back in this. Debating on that, but for right now, I'm going to put the black one in. But she's almost done. Let's get the windshield in. We got all six screws in. The goblin's looking like the goblin again. Look at that. See, now she's getting stable. Four little screws don't seem like much until it's all connected, but she's coming back to life, Rocketeers. Yeah, yeah, it's hot. I decided to do this early. I came out at 9 o'clock this morning because it's supposed to get up to 98 today, and it's going to rain in a couple hours. So I wanted to get her done, so she's getting done. Bluebird all beautiful, yay, yay. Next step, we're gonna put on the fairings. Here's the next part is this side, which is very simple. See, I keep the screws so I know where they all go. Keep everything great. That way I know. But this piece basically snaps up in here, and then you put your three screws in, and then you got one screw that screws down here. Get that done and we'll be back. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Just to see, say so you got a point of view, there's three little tabs you just slide up in there and it lays over. And then you put your screws in. And then tighten them all down. And then you got two little rubber things right here that slide in the hole. You just push and you'll feel them creaking. But then there she is. The goblins coming back together, baby. Well, we're going to tighten this all down and we'll be back. All right, she's fastened up and buttoned down. The next piece is this, and it's the same thing. You see the little clips, it just clips and slides in. And then you got a screw here. I'm missing a screw there, so there was originally a zip tie there I'm gonna put back. And then you got a screw here. Let's get her done. All right, see, I got the clips clipped in, and you got a screw here. Something's supposed to go here. I'll look on the other side, but this side only had a zip tie and a screw here. And then you got to screw it down here to a bracket, but I took it off on the other side, so I kept it on this side. Let's button it all down, and we'll do the other side. Yay, yay. Alrighty, there we go. This side's done. She's zip tied up. Haha, <laughs> screws all in. The green goblin's starting to look beastly again. One side to do on the nose, and then she's done. Yay, yay. Here's just the same for this side now. You got the three bolts at the top, and you got one at the bottom. You got these three little clips. One, two, three. They just slide up in these holes. Real simple. And you screw it in. Yay, yay. Real quick, guys. I wanted to show you. These are the little holes I was talking about. They just push in little knobs to hold it in. And see, they go up in the hole. And they snap in, but you need two hands. But I just wanted to show you all once again. You got this nub and this nub. Make sure you all push them in. Yeah, yeah. She's all buttoned up nice and good. Now we got this last piece to put in. Okay. Screw there. Screw there. And you got one down here. And it's kind of like the same thing. You just slide and lock in place. And then you're good to go. Let's go ahead and put the kickstand up. It's the same thing. It slides and locks in place, and then you got a screw goes down there, a screw there, and a screw there. Put that one in, put that one in, put that one in, and I'll show you the rest. Hey, yay, yay, let's get that done. She's on all screwed up, and the final touch is you got a pin right here, and a pin underneath, and then you got a, a pin here, a pin underneath, and a pin underneath here. So it's five pins. And then she'll be good. Let's get them in. All right, see, we got the push pin in, the one underneath in. Then there's one down here that's in. One right there that's in. And one right there that's in. But there you go. And that's the outcome of the goblin. Now all I got left is the nose wheel cover fender thingy to put on. And she's back to normal with fresh seals. Yay, yay. All right, the final thing is the nose which is actually quite simple. It sits up here. You screw one bolt in there. This side hooks on over here, hooks to it with a bolt there, and then each reflector counts as a bolt. 
and then you gotta hook your brake lines with these clips to it. Let's get that done. Alrighty, now I just gotta tighten them down. But bolt here, reflector here, then this piece slides to snap this up, bolt here, reflector here. Then we hook the brake lines up and then she's completely done. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. There we go, she's all buttoned up, torqued up, and then now you got two little holes here. Which she you take this clip and you put it around a brake line, see? Boop. And then you clip it in the hole. Keep the brake lines clip. See, but there you go. You do them all like that. You got one here and one on the other side. Alrighty, here's the clip for the other side, so that's done. And then there she is. All right, Rockets here. She's fully assembled back together. It's the Goblin. Fork seals look beautiful. Yay, yay. That's how we do. But she's back together fully. We about to take her for a ride. Got some air in the tires. She starts right up. <laughs> Rocketeers, well, she rips like a mofo. She's my baby. The forks are perfect. They don't even need to adjust the suspension. She runs great. I'm happy with her. All I got to do is get new tires and she passes inspection. Yay, yay. Well, if you're new here, I'm Rocket. This is the Go Harder Home channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment below. Yay, yay. Rocket out.